Yeah, if you go back into the four congresswomen, the things they've said about our country are terrible. Uh, what they've said about uh, Israel are just terrible. Uh, I don't know. I can't say for sure, but certainly a lot of people say they hate our country. And I think it's a disgrace what they've said. I think you can't talk that way about the United States. And I think, frankly, to say that about Israel, you know, we just gave the embassy in Jerusalem, making Jerusalem the capital of Israel. I just gave Golan Heights, recognized Golan Heights for Israel. I've done all of this for Israel. And then you have these people. I think that Omar, I find it hard to believe, but I hear Omar today put in, or yesterday put in, a uh, sanctions bill against Israel and other things beyond sanctions. So when I hear that, you just can't talk about our country that way. And when people are angry at them, I fully understand it. That this political feud that you're having with Congressman Omar and the rest of those Democrats in convention is a good thing politically for you, or do you think it turns people off? I don't know if it's good or bad politically. I don't care. But when people are speaking so badly, when they call our country garbage, think of that. That's worse than deplorable. When they call our country garbage, I don't care about politics. I don't care if it's good or bad about politics. Many people say it's good. I don't know if it's good or bad. I can tell you this. You can't talk that way about our country. Not when I'm the president. So I think they've said horrible things. Uh, they're anti-Semitic. And you look at the kind of statements they've made about Israel, it's a disgrace. Mr. President, uh, they have First Amendment rights to say what they want about our country. That's what the Constitution guarantees. Do you see not agreeing with you as the same thing as hating the country, sir? Yeah, they have First Amendment rights, but that doesn't mean I'm happy about them saying. And when they say bad things about us, we can certainly feel, and again, we have First Amendment rights also, we can certainly feel what and say what we want. Yeah, go ahead. Steve? Say it, Steve. So we're going to be speaking with the UK, and this only goes to show what I'm saying about Iran. Trouble, nothing but trouble. And remember this, the agreement, the ridiculous agreement made by President Obama expires in a very short period of time. It was a short-term agreement. When you're dealing in countries, you have to deal in 50 years and 100 years. You don't deal in the short term. That was a ridiculous agreement. And it goes to show you I was right about Iran. And let's see what happens. But I know that it's not American ship. It's UK. I guess it could be one, could be two. And we'll be speaking to them. They have a new prime minister coming soon. And that's a good thing for the UK. Go ahead. In the past, you said that America is the laughing stock of the world, that you don't believe in American exceptionalism. Why is it OK for you to criticize America, but not Democratic Congress? I believe all people are great people. I believe everyone is great. But I love our country, and I'm representing our country. And people can't go around speaking about our country and saying garbage. This is the greatest country in the world. We now have the strongest military by far. We had a depleted military when I took over. We spent $716 billion last year, $700 billion a year before. We have a great, powerful military, more powerful than we've ever had before. We have the greatest economy on Earth, not even close. You can't speak about our country the way those four congressmen, they said garbage. They say things about Israel that's so bad, I'm not even going to repeat them right now. Uh, they can't get away with that act, not the right thing. These women have said horrible things about our country and the people of our country. Nobody should be able to do that. And if they want to do that, that's up to them. But I can't imagine they're going to do very well at the polls. And I say this, if the Democrats want to embrace people that hate our country, people that are far, so far left that nobody's ever seen it, anything like it, if they want to embrace people that are 
so anti-Semitic and anti-Israel. They want to do that. That's up to them. But I don't have to do that. I think what they say and what they've said is a disgrace to them, to the Democrats, and frankly, to our country. Long time ago, yeah, 15 years ago. I had a fall ago. Well, uh, I didn't get along with them. David? Wait, wait. I don't really know. I'd have to look into it. That's a long time ago. I do think we have bigger problems than plastic straws. You know, it's interesting about plastic straws. So you have a little straw. But what about the plates, the wrappers, and everything else that are much bigger, and they're made of the same material? So uh, the straws are interesting. Everybody focuses on the straws. There's a lot of other things to focus. It, but it's an, interest, it's an interesting question. Go ahead, talk up. So, Secretary Mnuchin did have a call with the Chinese counterpart. They had a very good talk. We'll see what happens. Uh, we're dealing with China. We're doing very well. They are not doing very well. They had the worst year they've had in 27 years, and we're having the best year we ever had. So we're doing well, but let's see what happens. And our farmers are doing very well because I've taken some of the billions of dollars of tariffs that we collect from China. We collect billions and billions of dollars of fees and tariffs, and I gave it to our farmers. False information was fake news. No, nope, I talk about it, but they didn't advise me. They told me, but I didn't. It's fake. By the way, what you're saying? Fake news. Fake news. Well, Rand is a friend of mine, but I have really 53 very good friends, and they're in the Senate. I also have a lot of friends. You saw that the other day when they brought a ridiculous vote up, and only four Republicans out of hundreds voted against. So I have a lot of great friends. I'm 94 percent in the Republican Party approval rating. Uh, Rand is a friend of mine, and Rand asked me if he could get involved. The answer is yes. And if other senators asked me to get involved, I'd probably say yes, depending on who they were. Uh, we'll see what happens. But I have many people involved, and Iran is going to work out very nicely. Iran is showing their colors, going to work out very nicely. Iran is in big trouble right now. Their economy is crashing. It's coming to a crash. They're trying to bring soldiers back home because they can't pay them. A lot of bad things are happening to them. And it's very easy to straighten out, or it's very easy for us to make it a lot worse. Say it. No, you know what's racist to me? When somebody goes out and says the horrible things about our country, the people of our country, that are anti-Semitic, that hate everybody, that speak with scorn and hate, that, to me, is really a very dangerous thing. I think these four congressmen, and I could say some worse than others, but if you look at the statements they've made, when they call the people of our country and our country garbage, when they hit Israel the way they've hit Israel, so hard, so horrible, I think, to me, that's a disgrace. And we should never forget it. We're dealing with people that hate our country. No, I don't. I don't. Let me tell you. They had an impeachment vote the other day. It's just a big waste of time. It's a disgrace. No other president should ever have to go through it. And the vote was a totally lopsided vote with many Democrats voting in favor. As far as I'm concerned, they already took their impeachment vote, and the impeachment vote was so lopsided. It was, a ma it was a massive victory. And you know what? At some point, they have to stop playing games because they're just playing games. No, I won't be watching Mueller.
Zimbabwe right now. Go ahead. Would you consider to remove him? The first lady feels very strongly about our country. The first lady thinks that it's horrible what they've said about Israel and horrible what they've said about our country, these congresswomen. They can't call our country and our people garbage. They can't be anti-Semitic. They can't talk about evil Jews, which is what they say, evil Jews. That's what the first lady.